Okay, so today's video, I'm going to show you what to do if you are locked out of your iPad and you don't remember the passcode. Now, it's a, it's a disclaimer I'm going to mention here at the beginning of the video. If you haven't backed up your iPad, you will end up losing the data that's on your iPad. If you do have a backup, then that's good news, because once you've reset and erased your iPad, you can just restore the backup. And the way I'm going to show you how to check if you do have a backup, if you have a phone, which is also linked to your iCloud account, all you have to do is go on settings, click your name here at the top, then you press iCloud. From there, go on to manage account storage. Then click backups. And if your iPad does have a backup, it should be listed here. You can see in this case, I don't have a backup. So when I uh, erase my iPad, I won't be able to get my information back, but I'll know going forward, I always need to have a backup for my iPad. So if you really don't want to lose your information on your iPad, your only best bet is to try and remember what the passcode is. If not, you'll end up losing your iPad data. So I'll show you two ways to restore your iPad. One is going to be without a computer and the second is with the computer. I'll put timestamps in the description so you know which, uh, which part to click onto. So I'll show you how to do it if you don't have a computer you can use. So this is all going to be done directly on the iPad. You have to enter the passcode in several times incorrectly. Use this time to try and remember what it is, but if not, the iPad will disable for one minute, then it will disable for five minutes and then for 15 minutes. After that, it will disable for an hour, and then there should be an option there saying erase iPad. So follow the instructions there to erase the iPad, and then once your iPad is erased, if you have a backup, then you can restore the backup from the settings menu. If not, make sure you remember to always have a backup saved to your iCloud. Now for a computer, for example, I have a MacBook. Uh, if you have a MacBook and you want to erase your iPad, what you would need to do is uh, turn the iPad off and then plug in a USB-C cable into your MacBook. And then you would plug this same USB-C cable into your iPad, but you're going to be holding the power button at the same time. So to summarize, have your iPad turned off, plug one end of the USB-C cable into your MacBook. Plug the other end into the iPad, but press and hold the power button at the same time. You'll get this image here of a computer. So keep holding that power button down until you see the computer logo on the iPad. And from there on the MacBook, you should get a notification. And then you'll get a message saying, are you sure you want to restore the iPad to its factory settings? You then press restore and update. Then there's a message which says what the update does, that it's important for bug fixes, so you press next. And then there's a safety agreement which you can agree to. And from there, the update will start downloading on your MacBook. You can see on the bottom it says downloading iPad software update. Now the iPad recovery mode usually only lasts for about 15 minutes. So you may find that it may go off recovery mode, but that's fine. Just do everything that I've said again once the update downloads. So turn the iPad off again, unplug it, replug it back in while pressing the power button. And then uh, you, you can just follow them same instructions again, but the update would already have been installed onto your MacBook. So it will just update from there automatically. And then the iPad will then reset and then you can put in a new passcode and make sure you have backups saved, otherwise you may end up in this situation again.